In what is certainly a victory for the pro-life movement, a judge in California on Tuesday struck down the state's legalization of doctor-assisted suicide. Superior Court Judge Daniel A. Adolia ruled the California legislature violated the law by passing the End of Life Option Act during a special legislative session dedicated exclusively to healthcare-related issues, the Los Angeles Times reported, according to data on the legislation, 111 people killed themselves with the help of a physician in 2016 alone, the same year the law went into effect. Alexandra Snyder, the president of the Life Legal Defense Foundation, one of the groups that filed a lawsuit against the legislation, said she is very happy with Adolia's decision, adding, we will now wait and see what the Attorney General does, for his part, California Attorney General Xavier Becerra said in a statement to the Times, we strongly disagree with this ruling in the state is seeking expedited review in the Court of Appeal, why was the law struck down? Lawmakers okayed the controversial legislation during a special session convened by Democratic Gov. Jerry Brown, during which politicians were supposed to discuss Medicaid funding shortfalls, services for disabled citizens, and health support services, according to LiveNews.com. In his decision, the Desert Sun reported, Adolia argued the doctor-assisted suicide bill does not fall within the scope of access to health care services and is not a matter of health care funding, to be honest, a little bit surprised, Snyder said of the judge's ruling. But we really felt like we covered the legal arguments very, very thoroughly, she went on to say, if any law can be passed by circumventing the normal legislative process, by shortcutting the normal rigorous legislative vetting that goes on, that is problematic. Doctor-assisted suicide is currently legal in five states and the District of Columbia.